So last night we were lucky enough to go to Universal Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights and to see their sort of flagship maze, which is the Stranger Things maze. Now I've never been before, didn't know what to expect. Uh, I was really excited for the Michael Myers one, but actually the Stranger Things one properly blew me away. It was like incredibly impressive. So it's basically in one like maze, you get all of season one condensed. Yeah. So you get all like the main environments yeah. and you see a lot of the main characters, don't you? It takes you all the way through Hawkins to where Will has been taken or disappeared. And you go through like Joyce's living room where he's been communicating with her, a bunch of other Hawkins places and a bunch of scenes play out in front of you. And then you end up in the upside down, which was pretty bonkers. So the scares come from a mixture of Demogorgons jumping out at you yeah. and also characters from the show coming out and like, kind of abruptly doing lines from the show yeah. or firing guns, but the actors were super impressive. Like, yeah. the likenesses were like, for some of them were uncanny, like Joyce, the Winona Ryder character. Was, I was th generally thinking like, as Winona Ryder, just doing they, a little something. They got Winona in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hopper was really good, but some of the kids were great. Will, yeah. Dustin, because what are you doing? They're coming in and doing little like famous moments from the show, yeah. but they're really good likenesses. It was awesome, and um, we were really lucky as well, because we got Mike Aiello, the guy who designed it all, to sort of walk around with us, so we were getting these little tidbits bits and stuff and what he was saying was basically like the Duffer Brothers were really impressed that they were going to be doing it because the Duffer Brothers never made any Demogorgons for the show because it's all sort of like CG so. yeah they came up with the design they were like yeah. how are we going to do this you probably want to do that in CGI <laughs> they're like you're doing it for real yeah good luck and to be fair I was a little bit skeptical at the beginning going was this going to be like Demogorgons jumping out or not it was pretty good to be well, there's fair. bits where you go around a corner and a demogorgon's face would come out and it would just flower in front of you and like yeah. it's a bit like a dilophosaurus like it was oh, yeah. really effective i think it did spray some stuff as yeah. well or i was spraying myself i don't know uh but what was your favorite bit um i think my favorite bit was towards the end when you went into the upside down you kind of went through the portal the colors kind of went muted you're in a forest and there's tendrils covering everything but the coolest touch was like, I looked up and that little particle effect that you have in the upside down, they somehow managed to recreate that, which was pretty amazing. That then that was my favorite moment. My favorite bit, Daniel, was like, I've known you like four and a bit years, like properly, and I've never really seen you scared. But last night, as we were walking through, a Demogorgon jumped out and I saw you afraid for the first time in my life. I really hope I'm really glad, I've got. I'm really glad we don't have footage of that. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. So if you are gonna head to Universal's Halloween Horror Nights, I mean, get in line straight away for Stranger Things, I think, because it's probably the highlight.